cooking the corn, 2,500 pounds, about two hours till it boils. And then we let it steep for about eight hours, six to eight hours, depending on the, on the tortilla that we want. So after that, we mill it. See, these are the metate stones that are inside the molino. So these are face to face. The corn passes through here. This gets pulled, and then these little lines here is what grinds it. And then this creates the masa. Pretty much just like the old metate style that the Indians used to use, but it's just mechanically made now. And then we mix it. We add water, uh, the masa, preservatives, anything we need, and then let it mix for about five minutes. Pass it through the oven for about at 450 degrees. One pass, turns over, cooks the other side, turns over, and cooks so we get all two sides. So once it passes, this is a cooling conveyor, but what we do for Tito's is we added this um, to bypass the cooling system so the tortilla is hot, so it's easy to roll when they're making their taquitos. Once it's counted and stacked, we get it into boxes, seal it up, and it's good to go. Cuando llegan las tortillas, las pasamos por esta máquina para detectar cualquier metal o algo que les haya podido haber caído a la tortilla. We got the corn tortillas here. Separate them a little bit. So right now we're going to put the tortillas into this machine and it does the job for us. They used to do this by hand. Yeah, this machine is a lifesaver. Usually, we have about eight to 10 buckets full of chips every day. Se le quita lo que no, lo que no se, lo que no se necesita. Como aquí, por ejemplo, este es hueso y hay que quitarlo siempre. Hay que limpiar bien que quede, que no lleve huesos ni nervios. Y empieza a limpiar aquí lo, lo, lo que tenga de, de, de grasa y empieza a hacer cortes para, para, para carne, para taco. Creo que toma 10 minutos para hacer un pedazo completo. So I start off with the, the ingredients first. Chopped onion, salt, oregano, and potatoes. So this is the meat that we use for the tacos. We cook it for about two and a half to three hours. And then we bring it here to this machine. This machine is a buffalo chopper. So we just start scooping little by little. We gotta add a uh, juice to it when we're chopping it up because we don't want the meat to be dry when it goes to the machine, when it goes to the tacos. And that's why a lot of times when you take a bite into the tacos, the meat is still nice and juicy because we do add a lot of the juice, its own juice to it. So once it gets to a shredded consistency, then I start taking it out. At that point in time, the filling is then put into this large scoop that goes into a machine that portions out the taco meat in equal portions. And then through this taco folding machine, we fold the tacos. And it's a machine run by four individuals. Uh, and we're, we can produce as many as 1,500 tacos per hour. Uh, and the beauty of it is not only are they uniform in size, but they also cook equally as they should. So right now we're cooking beans. Give it a nice little stir so, you know, they cook evenly. Usually we cook about two to three pots of beans every day, early in the morning at five in the morning. So here we're gonna chop up the lettuce.
We do anywhere from four to eight cases a day, depending on the day. So we wash it, we'll put it back in clean containers, and then uh, we'll take it to the restaurant later on the day. Este es chile con carne. Es carne para los burritos. Lo que estoy haciendo es moviéndola para que se caliente toda la pareja. Ahora lo que voy a hacer es poner salsa de enchiladas en las bandejas para las de enchiladas. Para la hora de abrir, esas enchiladas ya están listas para servicio. So we have jalapeño, black pepper, oregano, salt. We use some apple cider vinegar, as well as obviously tomato and onion. a la gente estos chips, los chips y la salsa, porque los, los hacemos con, con corazón. Son cuatro minutos para que se cosa bien. Lo que hago es ya vaciarlo aquí y, y ahí les pongo la salecita. Les pongo la salecita. Ahorita están frescos, agarran bien la salecita. Y de ahí ya quedan unos chips muy buenos. We do between 26 to 28 tacos por basket. I would say it takes about two and a half to three minutes to fry the tacos. In a busy day, I would say 8,000 tacos that we fry. And a slow day could be 3,000 to 5,000 tacos. And a slow day. Tacos is the number one seller. Look, when the taco looks sexy like this, they're good. So a, a taco comes with freshly shredded iceberg lettuce. Our mild cheddar cheese is put on top. It's really nice and very consistent. I started working at Tito's at 12 years old in 1966. My grandfather paid me 25 cents an hour. Tito's Tacos was started back in 1959 and it was located right here on Washington Place. Around 1970, my father bought the property that the restaurant's on now. It was a vacant lot behind Tito's, built this building, and the restaurant moved over here in 1972. The reason Tito's food is so special to our followers and customers is because we make the food fresh every day. It's all fresh ingredients. Everything tastes great. You can tell there's no additives or weird things in the food. It's all real, real food. Yeah, these are shredded beef tacos. We start with a cut of chuck beef, cook it for two and a half to three hours. The cheese, for instance, comes from outside of the state. It comes from the state of Washington. So we have that extra special taste that was originally with the taco when it was started in 1959. So what was really exciting for Tito's Tacos after we closed for two and a half months during the pandemic, was when we reopened, there were about 250 people surrounding the building, three TV networks, and uh, we realized we were gonna make it. And now the restaurant is still using the same recipes as it did back in 1959, using the same fresh ingredients every single day to make just wonderful food, and food which we feel is very heartwarming.